Hey guys, Gregor here, and um, I have a bit of a different video for you yet again today, which is uh, probably different to all my other videos in the playlist. I know I said that last time, but this time I really mean it. Um, and this idea comes from my good friend Matt, who pointed out that uh, my videos are actually quite heavily edited, right? I do a lot of editing in my tutorials to try and make these as instructive and short and concise as possible with the maximum amount of information. But he said that he would really like to see me do the stuff that I do, you know, in my videos in one take. And when I hear one take, then I usually freeze because truth is none of my videos are shot in one take. I usually take at least, you know, two or three attempts before I'm actually happy and uh, this time I'm kind of forced to do it in one take because I want to do a beat from start to finish in 10 minutes using Splice, the Splice integration inside of Studio One Pro. And um, yeah, there's not going to be a lot of time for explaining here because 10 minutes is just an absurdly little amount of time when it comes to beat making from scratch. But I'm going to try my best regardless and probably are going to fail spectacularly, but at least you're going to have a laugh along the way with me. So uh, why don't we get started and enjoy something entirely new together in this playlist? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to press the timer. I'm super nervous. I've never done a video like this before. This is completely not what I'm used to. So please bear with me. Maybe we fail spectacularly. We're going to find out together. I'm going to press the timer right now. 10 minutes are running. Oh my God. Oh God, what do I do? Okay, first of all, uh, let me tap a uh, song tempo. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to explain everything that I'm doing, but I think like... Dum, tsh, uh, tsh. Okay, that's 111 BPM. I believe that. Good. Now let me uh, quickly go to my uh, track presets. Oh God, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, 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 don't panic. Just don't panic. That's the most important thing, right? Okay, let's try this. Turning on the click and then let's hit play. That was very sloppy by me. Let's hope that retrospective record, recalling what I just recorded and quantization can fix this. Oh, I'm so nervous. Yes. It worked. Great. Okay, now let's uh, loop this. How do I loop again? Oh my God. Muscle memory is failing me when I get nervous. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? Maybe some kind of lead sound. I don't know. This maybe. And then um, what else? What else do we do? Uh, I need some scaling here for my Adam SQ. How do I set this? Uh, let's do this. Natural minor D and scale. Okay. Maybe I can do something with this. I don't know. Just anything. I'm desperate at this point. Bit long. Okay, good enough. Now I'm already wasted two and a half minutes here, and I'm gonna throw this into Splice. Splice, come save me, save me, buddy. I need some kind of baseline that rolls with this quickly. <laughs> so, this is the arrangement that I have, which is now inside of Splice. Give me a bass. This seems good. But it 
has to be in our song key, which is D natural minor. I like this one. Let's just go with this. Time is running out, so... Alright. We're onto something. Let's go for drums. Also, we're clipping hard, so let me just uh, go a bit less hot here. This is also nice, like for the second half of it. Okay, I'm gonna update the splice reference right here. And based on this, I'm going to search for some new suggestions. Um, I'm thinking some atmosphere like strings, maybe, or pads, you know, these kind of sounds. Um, let's see. So I'm looking for synths. I'm looking for, uh, well, strings. Yeah, I guess. Pads, you know, this kind of stuff. Mm, okay, close. Kind of like this, I'm gonna use it. This could be nice actually with the delay, so let me just quickly go to my beat delay. Let's add an EQ just for good measures. Now, I certainly won't have enough time to mix anything, so let me just uh, move on. By the time I hit like three minutes, I need to start arranging, otherwise I have no chance. This could be really nice, this uh, string effect that I just added with the reverse reverb, so I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna add this with my trusty macro. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. That's all we have. That's all I do. All right. Let's see if this is... This is good enough. I'm going to uh, basically make a render from this here. Just need that. Okay, these two can go away. Good enough, good enough. Okay, almost down to three minutes. We need some kind of drive here. This I like, let's go for it. Man, 10 minutes are so little time, I never realized. Okay, all we have to do now is update the reference once again on Splice. Like my muscle memory is completely failing me at this point because it's just so stressful to do this, trust me. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see. We need, we need some more synths. We need some kind of arpeggio with this. Maybe here just for this uh, little bit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Like this. Okay, let's start arranging. We have literally no time left, so. Uh, we need a little bit of drive though on the drums because otherwise I can't build a progression. Something with a bit more double time, oh god. This is good enough. Okay. So I'm gonna need those here. 
but I'm also gonna need just a few drums and so now I'm getting really nervous okay I'm just gonna duplicate this track here and I'm gonna insert a pattern and all I want to do here is just 16 with like a probability of 50% to keep it interesting okay there's a few glitches here and there a G house thing you know okay and then we start with uh, none of that and uh, we bring in just the lead sound and then uh, not much of this, this is all for later, this is basically the progressive method where we start introducing stuff as we go along. Alright, this can come in here, none of those here, they come in there. Okay, 46 seconds, we kind of start like this, this is my idea. Maybe the pattern can come in here already to keep it. Okay, it's good. Yeah, we need the beat here. More beats, more beats. Hey! hey. That's a beat. Time's up. Could I have done better? I'm sure I could have. Was it fun? For sure. Will I do better next time? Hopefully. But this is what you can do in 10 minutes inside of Studio One with Splice. Thank you for watching.